I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas, but I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to The Breakfast Boost. Good morning, Breakfast Booth Buddies. This is your host, Michael Yerby, kicking it with you in the Breakfast Booth. If you're eating breakfast or sipping on a morning cup, pull up a chair. Today, we're getting our gratitude groove on. It's like adding a spoonful of sugar to your day, but way healthy. So here's a little dad joke to put a smile on your day. Why did the coffee file a police report? They got mugged. Okay, okay, I promise the gratitude talk is better than my dad jokes. We're diving head first into that warm and fuzzy feeling called gratitude. It's like a cozy blanket for your soul. And man, it just doesn't make you feel good. It can actually make you healthier. So grab your favorite sipping cup, the one that survived the dishwasher, huh? and let's turn your average mornings into a thank you party. Hey, before we get rolling into the good stuff, remember to hit that like, subscribe, and follow button. Share this with your pals, your grandma, and even your dog. I hear pets need a positive boost too. Stay tuned, we're about to sprinkle some serious sunshine on your day with the power of gratitude, starting your mornings with thanks. It's gonna be a good one, so stay tuned. Rise and shine, my Breakfast Boost family. It's your amigo Michael here, and you're tuned in to the only morning show where your smile is a part of the dress code. Aww. Today, we're serving up a hot plate of wisdom with a side of gratitude. Now, here's the quote of the day. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. That's a little golden nugget from the soap. Not the skincare brand, the ancient Roman storyteller. It's wild how just being thankful for the small things can turn your whole day around. Like when you find an extra fry at the bottom of the bag. Seriously though, gratitude is that secret sauce that can make your day taste better. It's like looking at the half-eaten sandwich and saying, hey, at least I didn't drop the whole thing face down. It's that shift, you know, it's like being grateful for the sun coming out after a terrible thunderstorm. And let's be real, some days, the best thing you can be grateful for is the fact that you made it through the day without cussing someone out or giving in to negativity. I call that a win. So stick with me as we unwrap the gift of gratitude together. Trust me, it's like opening a surprise present every single morning. Stay tuned and let's make our hearts the biggest thing we wear today. Welcome back, Breakfast Boost Buddies. You're locked in with your host, Michael Yerby, and it's time to dig into the meat and potatoes of the episode, The Power of Gratitude. So here's the scoop. Scientists have researched this topic thoroughly, and with some unique experiments, they have been able to poke around our brains and guess what they found? When we count our blessings, our brain actually starts to think we're happier. And guess what? It makes us happier, for real. It's like convincing yourself that off-brand cereal is just as good as the name brand ones. And suddenly, it is. Well, at least you eat it, right? Now, let's continue talking about the real goodies, the benefits of saying thanks to life. When you're thankful, you're not just all smiles. Your body starts to feel good, too. It's like getting an oil change for your engine. You start feeling good from your head to your toes, and even your heart thanks you because it's healthier. But how do we supposed to make this magic happen every day? I believe it's easy. It's like brushing your teeth, but with happy thoughts. Scribble down three things you're happy about each morning. Maybe it's the cool side of the pillow, or maybe it's just having air within your lungs. Whatever floats your boat. And hey, I got stories that'll make you go all faster than a cute puppy video. Aww. My little homie Graham, he started writing down one thing he was grateful for every day. And you know what? He's now that guy that actually smiles at work just because. A total gratitude glow up. All right, Boost Buddies, how about we kickstart our own gratitude wave? I challenge you, yeah, you with the earbuds and the half-eaten Pop-Tart. I want you to jot down three things you're grateful for for your day, every day, this week, and share the sunshine with the rest of us. 
Slap it on your socials with the hashtag Breakfast Boots Gratitude. Let's get it trending more than those funny cat memes, all right? Stick around as we wrap up today's gratitude party with some high fives and some good vibes. And remember, folks, being grateful is like giving your day a high five for showing up. Let's keep this gratitude train chugging. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Don't go anywhere. More of the Breakfast Boots is coming right up after this short break. Welcome back to your feel good corner of the day with me, your host, Michael Yerby, on The Breakfast Boost. We've been talking about the secret ingredient to supercharging your day. And no, it's not the extra caffeine. It's gratitude, my friends. Now get this. I got a little mission for you. Should you choose to accept it? I call it the Gratitude Journal Challenge. It's not mission impossible. It's mission is possible. Here's what you got to do. Every morning. Right after you wake up, grab a pen and write down three things you're grateful for. It could be simple stuff like your toast not getting burnt or your cat deciding not to use your leg as a scratching post. Whatever makes you crack a smile, jot it down. Imagine doing this every day. It's like putting on armor before you go into battle. You start your day thinking about good stuff and suddenly the world looks a little bit brighter. Like someone turned up the saturation settings on your Instagram pics but in real life. And here's the kicker, guys. Share these happy notes with the world. Snap a pic of your gratitude list and throw it up on your social feeds. Use the hashtag Breakfast Boost Gratitude. Let's get gratitude storm brewing online that makes gratitude start trending on social media. I'll be surfing the interwebs looking for your gratitude gems. Let's fill up those feeds with good stuff. Make it the trend that never ends. And hey, I'll be sharing my own list too. Because what's a challenge if your old pal doesn't join in on the fun? Stay grateful and stay boosted. And hey, remember, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. Catch you after the break for today's wrap up. And just like that. We're at the tail end of our morning get together. You've been hanging out with me, your host, Michael Yerby, on the Breakfast Boost, where we sprinkle a little bit of extra awesome on your a quick recap for the squad who just tuned in. We're all about gratitude today. It's like a free upgrade in the game of life, making every level that much sweeter. We're talking about how saying thanks to life can bring your mood up, bump up your health, and make you more attractive to everyone around you. And don't forget our gratitude journal challenge. Three things for your life every morning. It's easier than choosing a filter for your selfie and way more rewarding. Share your list using the hashtag Breakfast Boost Gratitude. And let's get everyone in on this gratitude party. Next week, we're going to dive into setting intentions. We are going to make it stick like syrup on your pancakes. So not just floating through the day, you're steering a ship like the awesome captain you are. And hey, if you're giving the Gratitude Journal Challenge a swirl, slide into our DMs or drop a comment. All right, you beautiful morning people. Before you dash, hit the subscribe button, leave us some love. And if you got a spare second, share this with your fam. Your support is what keeps this show as fresh as your first cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, friends, we're wrapping up today's episode of The Breakfast Boost. Time flies when you're spreading good vibes, right? We talked about thankfulness today, and it's like the secret sauce that makes your day-to-day -day life taste so much better. We're not just here to start your mornings right. We're about building a community that's all about an attitude for gratitude. If today's episode stirs something good in you, go on, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you're feeling chatty, drop a comment or share this podcast with someone. Pass the joy like the last slice of pizza. Keep this episode in your pocket for those days when you need just a little boost. And follow us on social media for more good stuff. We're on all the big ones. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. You name it, we're there. Thanks for lending me your ears. You're the real MVPs. 
stay grateful, stay happy, and until next time, I am your host, Mike Miyervi, reminding you, a spoonful of gratitude is the best breakfast of all. Peace, fam.